What is up my dudes and the one girl who wants to see an old school player? This is Bikes, Beards and Brews. Let's kick that intro. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Before we kick this one off, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification. New videos on Wednesdays and Fridays. I am working on Mondays. I actually have an idea for Mondays now. So this isn't even just me saying, Mondays are coming. I have an idea. It's gonna take a little bit of time, but it's coming. Mondays are coming. You ring that bell, you'll know when it happens. <laughs> so uh, yeah, let's kick off today's video. Let's live in the now. Uh, right now, we're heading over to Salem. Uh, we're at Salem, Massachusetts. For those of you who don't keep up with me, I am from New England. Um, yeah, we're heading down to Salem, Mass. We're going over to a place called the Bit Bar. The Bit Bar is, uh, it's an old school arcade, really. Um, they do, they have all the old school arcade games um, you had when you were growing up. Unless, of course, when you are growing up was like five years ago, then I don't know. Honestly, I don't 100% know what's in the bit bar because I've never been to the bit bar. It's one of those places I keep driving by going, I need to go there. Uh, they're supposed to do old school games, uh, beer, alcohol, other alcohol, um, tater tots. So they kind of had me at tater tots. I mean, let's, let's be honest here. I mean, tater tots, I'm an adult, I need tater tots. But uh, yeah, they used to be in uh, the old Salem Mass Jail, and they've just moved to the old Salem Mass um, ba uh, Salem Beer Works. So their new location is much bigger than their old location, at least from what I understand. Uh, part of the advertisement was like, hey, more square footage, so hopefully more old school games. Um, you know, kind of hoping Centipede and Frogger, but at the same time, some of those old school, like, 90s X-Men games and Simpson games and stuff like that. Those those are what I grew up on, man. Those those games are awesome. And uh, of course, beer and tater tots, because once again, I'm an adult. Uh, before we get there, though, man, it's been a crazy week, right? Uh, I just uh, I just read uh, the other day, like Taylor Hawkins from the Foo Fighters passed. That's actually, that's a really sad thing. That sucks. Um, Taylor was a really, really talented musician. I've seen him in his own band. I've seen him, you know, doing Foo Fighters. I remember back in the day when, like, he was Alanis Morissette's drummer. That's actually where uh, Dave Grohl kind of stole him from. Uh, fun fact, for those of you who didn't know, uh, when Taylor Hawkins first started in the Foo Fighters, he was dealing with a lot of personal issues, a lot of personal demons, stuff like that. And uh, he was not keeping up on drums the way he should have been come recording time. So Dave Grohl actually stepped in and played a lot of the parts, but did not take credit for any of those parts in the recordings. He gave it all to Taylor Hawkins because he wanted to give him a fresh start and really help him out and be there for the dude. So that kind of shows you what kind of guy like Dave Grohl is. And, uh, you know, uh, it, obviously it worked out because Taylor Hawkins really like grew and developed as a musician, especially during his time in the Foo Fighters. And uh, yeah, I mean, if you guys have not checked it out, you really should do a deeper dive into the dude. He's, he has other stuff out there. He has a solo band. Um, he has, I want to say he's popped up in a few other projects as well. I can't think of them off the top of my head, but the dude really, really blossomed. I know some of the stuff coming out right now, uh, the toxicology reports and stuff are showing that, you know, he had multiple things in his system. I'm not passing judgment. Um, you know, we all do what we got to do to get by. It's still a shame that it happened. So, you know, rest in peace, Taylor Hawkins. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, sorry to bring you guys all down with that, but at the same time, I hope it, uh, I hope it gets you to open your mind a little bit more and you know, go out and check out some of that dude's music and realize, I mean, for me personally, I'll tell you straight out, I'm not a, I'm not the hugest uh, Foo Fighters fan. I know, burn me at the stake, whatever. But I really appreciate them as musicians and for what they do. And I mean, I love Dave Grohl. That dude is just way too talented for, I don't know, this world. He's done so much stuff. 
If you've never checked out his solo uh, career or his solo album, Crobot, you should check that out, especially if you're a metal fan. Like basically Dave Grohl just decided he really wanted to jam with all these metal idols that he had personally. So he just had this solo album where he pretty much plays all the instruments and he just called up all these people that he is just, you know, in love with and asked them to come in and jam with him. And that was like Max Cavalera from Soulfly and Sepultura. Um, Lemmy from Motorhead was in there. There was, there was a lot of big, like, names. Boop. My camera, my front-facing camera, decided it really wanted to look at the sky. Mainly because this road is really damn horrible. <laughs> so, whatever. But uh, yeah, I mean, the last thing I will say about the Taylor Hawkins thing is, you know, I kind of use stuff like Taylor Hawkins. He passed at 50. That's really young. Um, you really should use that as an example. I know I do, where you, you got to live every day and every minute <laughs> the best you can. Because there's not always going to be a tomorrow. There's not always going to be a next week, next month, next year. I mean, I've had a bunch of stuff where I'm like, hey, I'll do this next week or, or next year I'm going to do this. And then that stuff is no longer an option. Uh, so I, I honestly try to, you know, live my life to the fullest because of stuff like that. And um, you guys should consider the same because there, there's not always going to be that next minute. So, yeah, all right. Now we're all done with all that. I mean, again, <laughs> sorry sorry for dragging you guys down if that's, uh, if that's what you're feeling right now, but whatever. You know, it's, uh, it's my moto vlog, and that's what I'm gonna talk about, because it's uh, what, what affected me this week. So, back to the bit bar. We're gonna head over there. We're meeting up with uh, my buddies, Jess and Eric. Um, Jess, a lot of times, watches the channel. So in theory, she might be the one girl, which means she might not be watching this because she's with me. I, I don't know how that works. Well, we're not live streaming, so. All right, yeah, she might still be watching this when it premieres. Hi, Jess. <laughs> so whatever. Um, but yeah, I will catch up with you guys when we get to the bit bar. All right, guys, we're just about in the Salem. And uh, with that, we're also just about at the bit bar. It's actually, uh, it's pretty close. I'm gonna make it! What's up? <laughs> I honestly, I, I love Salem, man. I love historic Salem. Like, just check out some of these houses and stuff. A lot of these actually have little plaques on them. You might be able to see them. Uh, where it tells you who actually originally built the house back in like the 1800s. And, um, usually their profession as well. So it's, a uh, a little bit of history on every single building. Salem Common, Salem Witch Museum is up ahead of us. I know I've shown you guys this stuff before, but you know, whatever. Can't, uh, can't see enough of it, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> whatever. Oh, uh, all right. I really need to get a picture of the bike in front of the Salem Witch Museum before they put up the really big, ugly ass tent they like to put up um, for shade for people. It's so annoying and it's such a cool looking building, especially at night when it's all lit up. That's the Hawthorne Hotel. It's, um, I think it was actually on like um, some haunted destination uh, channel and certified a haunted destination. Some of the rooms or something, dead people, whatever. I mean, in fairness, we're in Salem, so technically everything's haunted, everything's witchcraft or whatever. <laughs> oh, um, in case you guys didn't notice either, which I didn't expect you to, but this is the first video where I'm uh, filming in 4K. And uh, yeah, I mean, like I said, you probably wouldn't notice it because let's be honest, most of you are probably hiding in a stall right now, pretending to poop while you're on the clock because you don't feel like working. And I respect that, but you know, you're probably watching this on a little tiny phone. So 4K, 720, 1020, it doesn't matter. But for that one or two of you that accidentally put this on your TV, um, now you can see my helmet and studying glorious 4K-ness or something, whatever. 
All right, so down and around the corner, coincidentally, the new bit bar is right next to uh, Notch Brewing. So even if this is a complete fail and it sucks, <laughs> just cross the street and start drinking at Notch, whatever. Oh, look at that, they were so nice. They put a parking space right in front for me. Deal, all right guys, see you inside. So we're here at the bit bar. I thought it only appropriate to be like, the first place to start would be Tapper. For those of you who've never played Tapper, you basically just fill up beers for patrons and make sure that they stay drunk. This game is so awesome because it comes with a beer holder for my beer. So I'm gonna drink and play this. Told you I was getting tots. And they're all shaped like little Tetris pieces. This is awesome. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing, but apparently Marvel versus Capcom is my jam. <laughs> This game is literally just flipping a table and smashing whatever you chose to be on the table. One last look at the bit bar. Yeah, that was a pretty good time. <laughs> like I, uh, I think I'll be going back there again. Um, I don't really think they. Yeah, they were uh, they were just awesome. We we got a ton of tokens. I will say that uh, the games there, they're definitely not trying to scrounge a whole bunch of money out of you with those games. You, uh, they give you a healthy amount of uh, extra lives and stuff. And uh, it's the games are like one or two tokens. There was a couple that were like three, but um, yeah, it was it was really fun. I mean, clearly. They're making their money off of uh, the drinks and the food and all that stuff, and I'm cool with that because like those uh, <laughs> those tater tots were just awesome, and uh, beers were good too, quite enjoyable. They uh, they had a really good selection of beer going on. They had uh, you know mixed drinks and all that other stuff. They have stuff for the kids, so uh, yeah, they've got their bases covered. <laughs> What's up, doggies? And, of course, it was fun as always hanging out with Eric and Jess. But they are always uh, a good time, always entertaining. I might have to get like a hard mount for like this camera, man, because uh, New England, uh, we have way too many potholes. It just keeps moving this camera around. All right, that's Jess and uh, Eric, so let's smoke them. <laughs> uh, yeah so uh actually like eric and i went to a wedding years back he's always had like a mini cooper or whatnot and uh we got pretty hammered we were in his mini cooper i think uh through like rock paper scissors or something it was decided that i was the most sober out of everyone so i got to drive there was a huge traffic circle that we came up to <laughs> And uh, we had two other friends in the back seat as well. I just hopped in this traffic circle and I'm doing like 60 through the thing over and over again, treating it like NASCAR. Eric's hanging out the passenger side window just going, 
go-kart handling. It was absolutely hilarious and um, just a whole bunch of dumbness all at the same time, but it was a good time all together. Uh, oh, let's do the bridge. Nonetheless, guys, that's all I got for you today. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification, and uh, yeah, share this with friends, share it with family, share it with that one girl you know who's all about the old school players. She loves this stuff, trust me. And I'll see you all on the flip side.